So make about, does that, pipe it into this, and now we suddenly get that. So if we understand from last time, the title is about, which shows up here, horizontal padding of one, so there's one space here, a vertical padding of one, so there's one space here, the BC, which is the color for the box, is color four, which is this gray color. The title color is color five, which is this yellowish color. And the separator character is a pipe. We're not using a pipe in the input, but that's what the separator character is set to. That will be more relevant when we take a look at the next example of socials. It's the exact same thing, but instead of about, we have socials as the title. So let's go ahead and do this and let's run, what is it, make socials. That's what happens there. Notice that they are separated by a pipe character, right? So we have make socials. It's the exact same thing as we saw before. We just read it into a giant array and then we break it on pipes and we colorize each line how we want it. So as you can see, this has the color, this has the color plus it's italicized. So it kind of looks like a link. I used to have it blue. I changed it. I don't remember. Um, make socials, pipe that to, why did I copy that to my clipboard? tools, box, and whatever else was there. So that's what it looks like. If I do the separator character of a pipe, we get that. If I pull back up, what was it? Uh, make body, and we grab this whole thing, and we run make socials through it, it should look exactly how we saw it before. So, ugh, that looks bad. There we go. That's what we see. So, let's pull back up, make body. What it does is it grabs the about section, it grabs the social sections, it gets the length of both of them, calculates the longer length, so the body, either the socials or the about section could be longer, it doesn't matter. And then we go through and we tack them next to each other. We also do some magic here because we need to get the length of the line. We need there to not be ANSI escape sequences because if you have a color code in a string that counts towards the length, we don't want that. So we have to actually strip the ANSI out of it, the escape sequence out of it, to get the length of the string when it doesn't have the ANSI escape characters in it. So we use strip ANSI, which is another tool that I had originally wrote it, and then I swapped it out to this stack overflow example where they do it. It's a little bit slow, but as far as I can tell, this works. This gets the job done perfectly, does everything we need to do. Vim doesn't like it. <laughs> it doesn't syntax highlight it properly, but I promise it works. That's how we do that. Hopefully that makes sense to people. If you're lost, I would encourage you to pull down this code like I did at the beginning of the video and mess around with it. Open up, make body. Start